waiting for this thing to go live. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's not showing me a picture. I don't know why. Um, can you guys see a picture out there? And there it goes. Okay, so uh, welcome to the channel. I am John at Greybeard 3D. Uh, today I have an unboxing for you uh, with a special package from Ethan Makes. You can find a link to uh, his channel, uh, or at least to the video he made in uh, the description below. Um, today we're, we're just going to unbox a bunch of uh, MakerBox, UFO Box, uh, Profi Box, and the um, Protopasta uh, package, along with the package from Ethan Makes. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Um, Let's do this. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, and uh, today's shirt is Alien 3D. Just in case people like to see what shirt I'm wearing over the day. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera down uh, at the table space so we can open this stuff up. Uh, this first package is the one from Ethan. Um, let me try to get this unwrapped here. Ethan did a great video of... Uh, you know how to prepare some Marvins if you want to send me some Marvins. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can you can go ahead and uh, use this video to follow those instructions. Um, and uh, let me see. All right, cool. No address on the inside there. All right. Um, yeah, I just don't want to show his address on on stream or anything. And let's see. It's a double wrapped. Uh, so if you want to send Marvins, you can. Um, I prefer them printed at uh, 0.15 layer height. Let me tilt this just a little bit. I'm just trying to get this view right for you. Um, so let's see what we have. We have Mika 3D Silk Gold. That looks really nice. And his, his print quality is outstanding. Um, you can see in there. When you are sending Marvins, uh, don't mark them up. Don't write anything on them. Um, and make sure the, the, the loop is good at the top because that's how I have to hang them on the board. But uh, yeah, that's, and he included nice labels with these, which is really nice. Let's see. Inland Pink PLA. Again, another outstanding print from Ethan. He printed a lot. Hatchbox Magic Brown PL8. Now this is a very cool color. I've never even heard of this. This is a white. Let me get it out of the wrapper because this is a really, really cool color. It looks like a white with uh, brown specks in it. I'm going to have to go buy a roll of this stuff. Uh, it just looks so cool. Come on, focus camera. Um, let's see if I can get it at all to focus. Come on, focus. Focus. Nope. Okay. It's just going to refuse to focus for you. But there are some nice little brown specks in there. Uh, it looks really cool. Um, I'm going to have to buy a, a roll of that myself. Don't you all rush out to uh, Amazon and buy it all up. But that looks really awesome. Digistruct Green. And they include a Pantone code of 7725C. Uh, the green looks very similar to me as um, Isan. Hatchbox Gray. Um, now, I might have Hatchbox Gray. I just ordered some Hatchbox. I have to check. But that is Hatchbox Gray. Again, outstanding labels, Ethan. This is the way to do it. <laughs> Mika 3D. Or is it Mika? Uh, Silk Silver. Looks outstanding. I just bought a, a cool roll of um, Amaze 3D uh, from Amazon. They had a silk silver that looks amazing. Uh, so I picked that up. Um, this is Mika 3D Silk Copper. Outstanding. AIO Robotics Green. I like AIO, AIO Robotics. Uh, for some reason, I never did end up buying their green. But um, it looks very similar to this one. Uh, from uh, Digistruct, uh, just a little bit lighter. This is actually uh, more similar to the Hatchbox screen, maybe a little bit darker than the Hatchbox screen. Which, uh, all right, Melt Ink Dark Green. So that's Melt Ink Dark Green. Um, 
3D Solutec Beige. That's awesome. Ninja Tech Cheetah Lava. Wow. Okay, I gotta pull this one out. So th there it is in the bag. But I gotta pull this out. So um, printing Cheetah or any TPU can be quite tricky. And let me tell you that uh, you know Ethan did an outstanding job on this one. Um, there is a little bit of curling underneath uh, that can be improved with more cooling. Uh, so crank that cooling up uh, when when printing a TPU like this. And in fact, even printing ABS, when you're printing this small, you need some more cooling. But look at how nice that looks. The the brow, uh, that, that um, what is that? The left brow slash the right brow, depending on whose perspective you're looking at, that can usually come out bad. Uh, the loop can also come out bad on um, TPU. But this is an outstanding print, and it is squishy. Um, the Ninja Tech Cheetah is a little bit stiffer than... Uh, regular uh, Ninja Tech. Taints Blue PLA. So that's Taints. That's awesome. And I hope this stream is working. Uh, usually a few people jump in by now, but oh, we have a few viewers out there. Inland Egyptian Blue PLA. Now this is a nice dark blue. I thought I had this though, but I guess not. Let's see, Hatchbox True White PLA. Let's look at this one. So whites, uh, whites are tricky. They'll usually come out a little bit warm or a little bit cold, cool. So let's look at this one. This one actually, I'm not seeing much of a color cast to it at all. It looks really good. I'm sorry about the focus. Come on, camera. Um, I'm not seeing much color cast at all. It, if I had to pick, maybe a little yellow. Um, but it is, it is very good uh, as far as a white. So if you're looking for a really good white, the Hatchbox True White looks really good. Now if you want a little bit of warm white or a little bit of a cool white, there are options out there. I think, um, so there's Eason Gray PLA Plus. Uh, this is the one where uh, he tried to write it on the paper, or on the uh, baggie, and I guess the ink wasn't sticking too well. And let's look at this Eason Gray. That is another outstanding print, Ethan. So yeah, go check out Ethan Makes. Uh, he's doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, he's he's absolutely, uh, I've, I've watched a few of his videos. Um, really interesting channel. And I really like the, the video he put together for me that describes how you can print your own Marvins and send it in. Uh, he also, uh, uh, you know, shares the PO box that you can mail it to. Uh, so you can help out with this uh, project. Um, I'm going to possibly, I, I got to look at possibly linking, uh, if, if you've contributed to the website, possibly giving you a link or something, I don't know. I have to figure out how I'm going to do it and how I'm going to do it effectively. But, um, and also I've had a lot of people in the past contribute and I don't know if I still have all of their contact information. Um, <clears throat> let me flip that the right way. All right, so I'm going to put these aside and let's move on to some other boxes. So uh, maybe the protopasta next and maybe I won't show my address. <laughs> uh, so this is the protopasta. Let's see what's inside of this. All right. Um, I think I got this in December. Arctic Blizzard Pearl White. Now that's cool. Um, this Pearl White, I have to check out uh, because I'm not going to open it now, but it, it looks pretty cool. I, I've been asking them to make a white uh, glitter for a while. Um, the only problem is these factory direct ones might not be available for sale regularly. Uh, so it's uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully some of these get get popular but uh, that looks like a really cool white it's it's slightly uh, grayish uh, with a little bit of a yellow cast but you can see in the um, in the filament is some shine to it uh, which is really cool effect so uh, we got some candy in here nice little uh, sour punch things let's see what else is in here um, 
So some protoplasma uh, stickers, uh, some card. I apologize for my dog. A nice little thank you card. Um, and I guess it just says hello winter, and it does appear to be a sticker. Um, a little warning label. Um, they include in all their stuff. Um, Frosty morning light pearl blue. That looks like a cool color. I'll have to print these up. I'm sorry I don't put the prints in the video, um, but that's what you get with live unboxings. And Northern Lights Dark Pearl Blue. So I can't wait to see these new pearls. Hey, Paul, how are you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. Just trucking along. I'm, I'm unboxing a bunch of these things. So here we have a MakerBox. Um, now, MakerBox had a promotion for a um, Nozzle X this month. Um, fortunately they emailed separately or else I would have not known about it until it was too late <laughs> so yes um, let me make sure there there's no uh, so they had a special subscribers nozzle X uh, that was a limited thing for the, the subscribers and nozzle X I'm using on my main Prusa and I absolutely love it um, this one says ignore me that means we should absolutely read it <laughs> So this is where they give you the codes and they ask you to uh, refer friends and everything else. Um, I think it used to say read me, but now it says ignore me. So we have a little uh, nozzle jabber. I don't use these, but uh, I seem to be building up a collection. We have a Greybeard 3D sticker. Awesome. So if uh, you guys get MakerBox, you probably get, have one of these stickers now. Polysmooth Teal. So Polysmooth is awesome material. Um, they have light colors for the Polysmooth line, but um, essentially you can smooth out your prints after you're done with uh, like rubbing alcohol. And you can do it a few different ways. And one of the ways that worked best for me was to uh, put it in a container, um, sealed container with rubbing alcohol on a soaked uh, paper towel. Um, and just make sure the two don't touch each other. Don't let the rubbing alcohol touch the print, but just being in the same container will uh, smooth it out. And uh, I think it needed like six hours. Uh, Polymaker makes a smoothing box, which works faster, but uh, if you don't have a smoothing box, uh, that can be a good way. Philo Alpha Terracotta PLA. I think, I think the Maker Box has sent this one out before. So Terracotta PLA, I believe has well, it says it's a new material. Hmm. How, how, why do I think I've gotten a terracotta before? Maybe it's a different brand. So, um, so it's blended with a special additive for a terracotta-like finish. Uh, sometimes when they say uh, special additive, uh, you want to use a hard nozzle like the Nozzle X. Hey, one Raz. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Start over. <laughs> No, you missed a great box that uh, Ethan makes sent me. Um, he he has a, a great YouTube channel, and he sent me um, Marvin's to hang up on the board and get on the website. Uh, EEL Conductive TPU. So this is a TPU that conducts Ninja Tech Ninja Tech's first truly conductive flexible filament. Hmm. It doesn't mention anything about how conductive it is. A lot of times you'll get a lot of resistance through these, but um, it is a black uh, TPU and it is flexible. Um, it feels something like maybe um, cheetah-ish. Polycarbonate blue from Plas 3D. So uh, I don't. Th I think I've printed a few polycarbonates out there. Um, not too many, and not too many are on my site yet, but um, I should be able to do it on my Prusa Mark III. Uh, it probably wouldn't go too well on an Ender, um, unfortunately. <clears throat> Some Airheads, nice. Blue Raspberry, I normally give those things to my, uh, my son. Sometimes my wife takes them. Uh, Filament PM, so I get the special box, so in the special box, uh, or the uh, whatever they call it, the ultimate box, uh, you get uh, four advanced filaments and then you get four easy filaments. So the easy filaments are from Filament PM. Um, 
And we have some great colors in here. A, a nice solid uh, green, blue, black, and red. Or at least that's what it looks like. Just ordered an Easy 3D X1 Mini 3D printer. Oh, cool. I'll have to look that up. Hey, Dell's Logos. How's it going, man? Um, so graphite black, pearl blue, pearl green, and pearl red. So these are all going to be pearlish. Let's see how let's see how uh, pearl like they are. Um, this is a pretty cool pack. Uh, so the easy printing PLA in the past has been um, pretty basic. I mean, you know, standard colors type of thing. I think they did a um, poly alchemy once, which is pretty easy to print. But uh, now we're getting this uh, special shiny green color out of this. So, um, this looks like it'll be a fun thing to print, and I don't think I have any of these. All right, so that's the maker box. Let's move on. Boom. The December box from Alien 3D. It's a little puffed up. I don't know, it's like really packed tight. Um, Let's see. Have a cool little Santa graphic on the back. Santa in space, I guess. Um, and some sort of weird, I guess it's supposed to be like a gingerbread house. I guess. So. Custom box art every single time. That's pretty cool. All right, so we have a nice Christmas card. Uh, sorry, I opened it so late. Ah, and a handwritten note, um, or at least it looks, it looks handwritten. So he wrote a handwritten note just to me. Um, so you can see it in there. And, uh, of course, uh, Christmas card, uh, greeting stuff. Thinking of you this Christmas, may yours be filled with friends and family. So very nice, especially for the handwritten note. Um, styrofoam balls. Uh, I guess this is snow as part of, um, as part of the uh, uh, whatever we're making this month, as part of, as part of the monthly project, we have some Ziltec green silk PLA. So that's pretty cool. Um, it does look shiny. Some Ziltec uh, Nico's hot rod red silk PLA. So we have a green and a red PLA from Ziltec so far. A Ziltec blue silk PLA so there we go and finally a Ziltec gold silk PLA so this is this color is interesting it's a really light uh, gold color hey 3d print Viking how's it going man so that one's really cool uh, let's see we have a bunch of stuff in here it looks like a battery box of some sort with an on off switch probably holds double A's and we have a, a fan um, what else do we have in here we have some chocolate candies brave to ship chocolate I guess in Christmas oh wow 3d glue for PET and this is a big bottle of this stuff this this has got to be at least a $20 bottle of glue at least I'd have to look it up but that is a nice huge bottle hey mr. Bertram uh, what else do we have um, we have a nice little pin cool and another Andy's chocolate and then this and I think what happens is maybe that that star from snow blows around on the inside there that's pretty cool too bad I open all my boxes very late <laughs> And finally, the Profi box. Let me move some of this out of the way. And let's open this box. Free mini box for December 2019 is here. Um, 
so it comes with a lot of samples it comes with a nozzle it comes with a discount so that's that's awesome uh, e3d online sticker that's pretty cool so the the profi mini box is a uh, it's another subscription box it's it's by uh, filament one and um, it has only filament one samples in it uh, Stroop waffle awesome I love those things can't get enough of them uh, some new arrivals of what they're selling they're selling some new sheets I guess for Prusa um, and they're selling the Himera um, so I guess check out their website for that uh, so we have filament one PC ABS pro select traffic black so it's a polycarbonate ABS that's interesting um, I'll have to look they don't really include any print settings for this so I'll have to look online or unless it's on the oh okay so the print settings are on here. So that's where they go through it. So that's cool. I'll have to save this thing. Because uh, polycarbonate ABS is an interesting one. Uh, Filament One PLA Pro Select Glint Red. So this stuff is awesome. Um, it looks a lot like, uh, oh, who are they? Hertz. Um, hers makes a PETG, I believe, that's glittery like this. Uh, it looks a lot like that to me. <coughs> Filament 1 PLA Pro Select Ivory Silk. Nice little color there. Um, it's a little bit more peachy than ivory to me, but um, it's a cool color anyway. Uh, Filament 1 PETG uh, Pro Select Azure Blue. And that's a nice translucent blue. I'll have to see how it prints. Uh, sometimes when you print these, they lighten up uh, or darken up. And finally, we have an E3D. Uh, I think it's a 0.6 nozzle. Uh, it has one dot on one, two, three faces. I forget if that means 0.6 or 0.4. Um, so their paper said it was a uh, 0.4. Okay, so three three dots uh, is 0.4. So that's it. Uh, those are all the boxes. That's the UFO box, um, the Maker box, the Protopasta bag, the Profi box, and of course, all these wonderful Marvins from um, Ethan Makes. So. Uh, now that I have all these open, I can go start printing, and because Ethan was able to send me printed Marvins, I don't have to print these. It saves me a lot of time, and I do appreciate it. Um, so thank you very much uh, to everyone. Let me come on up here. All right. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much to everyone. Of course, today I am wearing the Alien 3D shirt. Uh, go ahead and check out Ethan's channel. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like if you like the video, uh, hit the little bell. Um, I do appreciate your time today. Uh, I hope to get more uh, streams this year than I had last year. Uh, but, you know, life gets busy, but I'm going to do everything I can. Uh, so thank you, everyone, and uh, have a great day. And, uh, of course, thank you to everybody who joined the chat today as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop this stuff. Yep.